Okay, if you've been watching my pedal board reconstruction videos, I figured I'd give you an update. Um, in the last video, you saw me struggling like an idiot to make this work. Um, just to recap, I had some plywood lying around. I have my drill, but I didn't have any drill bits to drill bits to pre-drill the holes in. So I figured with this plywood being on the thinner side, it wouldn't matter. But I was wrong. Uh, so it started splitting the wood. Then it, it turns out the wood's kind of warped because it's been sitting in a cold, damp laundry room for years. And um, so I used nails. The wood started splitting. So this is the perfect size and layout for me. But it's just, it's not going to work. It, it rocks. It's so warped. So we're scrapping this. And maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll burn it or something. So what I did was I found a couple of pieces of, um, uh, it's kind of like a divider on um, my son's bed. It was a toddler bed and it had these railings on the outside. So I sawed a couple of them up and uh, bought some drill bits and was able to put this together. If you couldn't tell, I'm really into Batman. Uh, it's like a two-tiered pedal board and it, it, I think it looks kind of crappy with these going vertical like that, but it ends up working really well, zip tying the cables to these, and it's kind of, it's, if you can't tell, it's, these columns, they're recessed. So the cables you can kind of tuck under and then zip tie them, and they're completely out of the way. It's also two, two tiered. Um, you know, it's got this bottom level here, and then the top level, it's almost like a rise, but it's raised up. I kind of need that at this point. Um, I like this, but it doesn't fit my wah pedal. So I've decided I'm gonna probably upgrade my wah to, to a mini wah. I, I like the Morley wahs because you don't have to click a button to engage it. You just put your foot on it and it's on. Morley makes a miniature wah slash volume pedal um, that I think I'm gonna get. It's got a button on it, you click it, and it just goes back and forth between wah and volume. But, um, yeah, so I got this together, and then I got the pedals on it, and I kind of was weirded out by the layout. So I don't know if I'm going to stick with this or get a new uh, pedal train type pedal, which I, I love the pedal trains, but they're just so over, they're so overpriced. You can get the cheaper ones, but I don't know that they make the, um, I don't know that they make cheaper ones in the size I want. I have the Pedal Train Mini, and this currently fits all my pedals minus the wah and minus the tuner. So I, I love this though, but it, you know, I, I'm, I have to go bigger. So I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. Today, we're going to go to a local music shop that's near, the, pretty much the only local guitar store that's near me. And last time I was there, I noticed they had a TS9 um, Ibanez Tube Screamer for like 15 to 20 bucks less than how what you can get it online for so um i'm thinking i might get a tube screamer today i had a tube screamer back in the day i think i sold it i can't i can't remember but it was like a mid 90s tube screamer it sounded awesome i don't know what i did with it so um later today we should probably have a tube screamer let's see okay excuse the uh messiness of the board like i said it's this isn't permanent it's just everything's back on my old board so we have the wah the tuner the octave i've decided i'm going to upgrade my tuner and get a, a tc electronic uh poly tune one of the miniature ones it just takes up too much freaking space i love the octave that staying the modified overdrive and the big muff you saw that i bought in a previous video i'm going to upgrade the delay and the phaser eventually and the chorus will stay and there's my mxr brick to power it all and i put on my firm and power block uh i've had this thing for years and it rules uh it's just to power everything it's sturdy as hell and works really well i'm gonna eventually up i think i'm gonna go mini wah route too because my bad horsey is just way too big um but yeah it looks like crap so can't decide whether or not I'm gonna go on the backboard, stay on this, or buy another, uh, buy a bigger pedal train eventually. I'm going to uh, make music here. 
Let's see if they got this TS9. Okay, so I just got out of making music and I got a couple of new friends. This guy, this guy, MXR Carbon Copy. All right, and I got a mini tuner. The Korg one, he, the guy showed me how it works. Works pretty good. Hooray, so I have three new friends here. Let's, uh, the reason why the TS9 was $20 cheaper, because it was an open box uh, unit, but is in perfect working condition. I'll read that, I've heard it through the screen over four. Howdy doody, perfect condition, brand new. It's only like 70 bucks instead of 100. Take it. Look how little that bad boy is up next to a regular tuner. Hold on. Let's put it up next to the... Oh my god. I can fit two of these on top of my old tuner. So maybe I'll uh, go back to the Pedal Train Mini. But uh, this little guy is awesome. Alright, so I kind of have the board kind of half wired up here. And uh, I don't have enough power to power the wah, so I ordered a more. I used to have a Morley power supply for it. I don't know what I did with it. So um, the pet, the uh, new tuner works awesome. Um, I think that's really cool. But the uh, tube screamer is I got after the uh, overdrive. I like having the octave first in the chain, followed by the modified overdrive. Uh, TS9 as a boost, um, the Big Muff of course, okay on the top row obviously those are going to go through the effects loop, uh, I currently don't have a real amp, I should say I don't have a tube amp, I just sold my Marshall to buy a Panama amp and I'm waiting for it to get here, um, so right now everything is going through the front of a little uh, practice amp I have. It sounds like balls, so I'm not going to give you a sound sample yet. But um, those three will be going through the effects loop. Everything else will be going through the front of the amp. Um, and uh, who knows if we'll keep this board, but this is how I have it configured. I'm really digging the carbon copy. I love the... Uh, I'm really digging the carbon copy. I love the modulate effect. Thank you. 